I had no idea what I was going to do. I, I only got into petroleum because my mom was a petroleum engineer. And so I said, I, I like solving problems. I like working on things. I guess I'll do petroleum. She did it, and she seems to like it. So my first two years, I just I was clueless. I didn't know what I was doing, didn't have any idea of direction. And then I, uh, luckily, by an act of grace, I got an internship with Chevron. And uh, they had me working on really cool projects. And I realized I really like doing this. This is really fun. So at that point, I really kind of started focusing more towards reservoir than anything else. They give you these really complex problems that you have to solve to you know, generate, to add value and make money for the company, but you don't, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's stuff you don't know. So it's, you don't know this, you don't know that, you don't know that, but make a great decision anyway. <laughs> and it's, it's a tough problem, because it's, most engineers, it's, you, this, is what you want, this is what we want you to do, here's the exact inputs, design it. Mm -hmm. Us, it's, this is what we want you to do, but you know, we don't know, so make your best guess. So it's very uncertain, and, and that has a lot of fun to it for me. Do it, no questions asked. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, the people are great, it's a great community, they're fun to work with. Um, let's be real here, the pay is pretty good, it's not too bad either, and it's, it's a great career. I mean, it's served so far so, so far so good for me. I've enjoyed every aspect of it. You're in a community of people who love what they're doing, that that are like-minded and love solving problems, so it's very cohesive and you get a, a good network of friends. And because these resources are all over the world, you get to go and see everything. I, I, I've, I've looked at projects in Africa, I've looked at projects in California, I've looked at projects in South America, and I'll be traveling these places eventually. And the whole idea that you know, I can be paid to go solve problems around the world, awesome. I, so it's just strong personal impact and just, I just, it's a sense of awe and awesome uh, surrounding what we do. Period, point blank, we're headed for growth. I mean, the fact is you, you walk into any, looking around you right now, almost everything in here is some sort of plastic product. You have energy supplying the lights, the cameras, everything. That energy's gotta come from somewhere and there's only one place to get it from. And currently that's, that's you know, resources and that's where we can come into play. And so it's a need that we're gonna have for our entire future. So there's, and we can supply that need.